Lady Anne. Wolf Hall, based on Hilary Mantel's Booker-winning historical novels, leads the way with four nominations, including Best Actor for Mark Rylance, Best Actress for Claire Foy, and Best Drama, where its competition includes Channel 4's Humans, about artificial people termed synths. Hello. I'm now in setup mode. This is England 90 has three nominations, including Best Miniseries. It's competing with programmes like Dr. Foster, whose star, Saran Jones, is also up for Best Actress. And I'm a wolf tonight. But some have been surprised that a few other popular quality dramas haven't been recognised. In any other year, dramas such as Poldark, Last Tango in Halifax, Game of Thrones, Broadchurch 2 would have been candidates in the main jury awards. This year, they're not even nominated in those categories. That, to me, says we're in a golden age of drama. Yes, it's a cliche, but it's also true. So from the other side. She's already won Brit Awards, Grammys, even an Oscar. Now Adele is up for a BAFTA for Adele at the BBC. In the Best Entertainment Programme category, she's up against shows including Strictly Come Dancing. Sorry. So why do you think they're doing this? Doing what? Car sharing. Huh. Apparently it's good for the environment. Mm. Not the fact we haven't got enough car park spaces at work. Peter Kay's car share is up for three awards. Best male performance for Peter Kay, best female performance for Sean Gibson, and the Radio Times audience category, the only award decided by public vote. Still. If someone we know hadn't spoke up for him. Where it faces competition from shows including Poldark and the great Ross, British Bake Off. Which is what we're looking for, good layers. And overall, the creators of comedy classics Steptoe and Son and Hancock's Half Hour, writers Ray Galton and Alan Simpson, will receive BAFTA's highest accolade, the Fellowship. The Four Horsemen of the Acropolis. <laughs> And as always, the ceremony will include brief mention of figures from the world of TV who've died during the last 12 months. Lisa Mazimba, BBC News.